Hey y'all, good morning. It is almost 8.30. I'm just waiting on the guys to come and install the TV. I am cleaning today. I am straightening. I'm getting all, all, all the mess clean. All of it, all of it. I'm gonna get it all clean today and my battery is flashing low battery. The problem with me and cleaning is, number one, I, don't, I probably don't do it often enough. But also, like, I get distracted. I start 12 different things, and it, that's why it takes me all day. I was going to show you something. So this bedding right here, I made it. I bought the fabric. I bought the quilting stuff. I quilted it by machine, but I quilted it. And so um, Marvin's like, what's in this bag? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. So he opens up and he goes, oh, it's just this. And I'm like, just this? I made that. So I'm like, uh, yeah, I made it though. And maybe the girlies want it. So I just asked the girl, because it was their bedding. So I just asked the girlies and they're like, nah. Like I, I made it with my hands. So anyway, in the garage sale pile it goes. Also, I get distracted kind of easily. Like I'm like, oh, I'll do this. Oh, let me, while I'm right here, I'll do this. Oh, let me do that real quick. So I'm coming to finish out one project. I came to get, um, and we don't have any in here. <laughs> we had 12, but where did they, where did I store them? See, that's the problem in a new house. You store things in a lot of places and you gotta get used to where you store stuff. Now I'm in my bathroom and I'm cleaning my makeup sponges. And the way that I clean them is I just take, take some baby shimp, baby wash, head to toe baby wash. I put it on the sponge, rub it around, rub it between my hands, squeeze it, add more water, squeeze, rub. I just rub a dub dub. Three sponges in a tub. It's not, but I do have three sponges in the sink. So I know some people use like a special cleaner. Uh, some people put it in the microwave, but I heard that that, does, that that doesn't work. So I just stick mine in the sink here and I use a bunch of the baby wash or baby soap. Sometimes I've used uh, baby shampoo, I mean. And um, I just add a bunch of soap and squish and rub and rub between like, like this um, until the water's coming out a lot more clean than it was. So how do you guys clean your beauty sponges if you use them? I don't, I, I like beauty sponges, but I, honestly, I feel like it also kind of um, dilutes the foundation a little bit because it's like kind of combining it with a little bit of water. Um, and also, I don't feel like I did the beauty sponge right. So maybe Beauty Blender, if you're watching, you could teach me like do a class on it. Or Sephora, or you know, somebody like that could just like say, "Hey, hey, Lisa, come into our our Dallas location, and we'll show you how to use a beauty sponge correctly." That would be fantastic. Okay, squeeze them super tight, and then I take a clean towel and I lay them on the clean towel until they're done. I would clean my brushes right now. But that's for another time. Maybe later today I'll clean all my brushes. I try to clean my brushes once a week. Uh, but I'm going to be honest. That's not how that usually works out for me. So, all right. Let's go clean something else. I've gotten some stuff done. So, the cats are fighting. I'm in my closet and I've straightened up some areas and I was just going to share with you guys I am expecting Best Buy to show up or the techs, the install crew, whatever they're called. I don't know. Last time it was not Geek Squad but it was like another company, contract company. Anyway, I digress. So um, one way to guarantee, they, they said they're going to show up between 8 and 12 and 
it is now who's parking in front of my house somebody's parking in front of my house anyway so one way to ensure that they come because they haven't called or texted and say hey they're on their way one way to ensure that they come is for me to like go to the bathroom or something so uh, maybe I'll go like hey I'm going to the bathroom now and then they'll for sure show up because like it's 930 and they're still not here and the windows from 8 to 12 so if you show up at 1145 that means you're gonna be here for at least an hour and that's annoying so anyway somebody's parked in front of my house I think they just came from the bank I don't think they're coming in but maybe they are not a complaint but everything in this house like okay literally literally can't reach it so I have a stool my dad made me that now I can reach it like almost every second shelf in every cabinet I cannot reach one of the things that I love about how we designed the house is that our master closet which is right here is right off of the laundry room which is right through there and right off the master bath so all convenient and close together another thing that I would consider about the laundry room is pretty much nothing the 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 actual washer sticks out a little bit from that doorway but we knew that when we were building because the measurements were just off a little bit we and we so we knew it right away but I'm not worried about that because I feel like it's it's fine. I mean, I don't, it's fine. But uh, the dryer, the door swings this way. So when you're at the washer and you're loading up the, the dryer, it's great. But when you're at the dryer and you're gonna put stuff on the folding table area, not so great. But definitely doable. Definitely hashtag first world problems, but I'm just saying maybe if we had the the door that that came down you know went down instead of opening one way or the other I don't know that might have been more helpful but I don't know that that was an option and I'm just thankful I have a dryer Best Buy just now called like just now and it's like 10 15 and so I was like how long it's gonna be and he said 30 minutes okay which is not a really big deal because I'm cleaning anyway so it's not like I'm cleaning the dryer vent thing it's not a big deal anyway um but also I got up and I was ready by eight because the appointment it's lightning over here so I'm trying hi <laughs> captain wanted to join us I'm in my bathroom because the installer is in he's over by the guest bath and I didn't want to be filming because it just would have been weird so I'm in my bedroom and I'm filming and I needed um, I was stocking the bathroom just to make sure you know, I had toilet paper I had towels and all that kind of stuff some washing towels and doing things like that and I was like oh I need somewhere to put the toilet paper when I was at Target the other day they had a two like a, a, a basket and it uh, fit two rolls and I think it was $20 and I was like I think I have a basket at home and sure enough I did this is the basket that I used to use in our old house it has this green ribbon I got it as a Christmas present and it just had like soaps and lotions and stuff in it so I thought well I had this white ribbon from something that we just purchased so I surely could use that and the no don't don't put your claws in the bed. You're not, you're not raised by savages. So, I thought, well, I've got this extra white ribbon. I'm gonna run that around it and make it white. And then it'll match the bathroom better. So that's the craft project we're doing today. Don't forget, reduce, reuse, recycle. Well, I'm putting on my shoes. Getting ready to run to the store not literally but figuratively and oh yeah I can't even balance so I thought I'd take you with me haven't been out of the side of the house the whole day and it's been raining like 
Come on, see in here. Is that like an owl? Did you hear that? Like, ooh, ooh. We used to have a woodpecker up there, but I haven't really heard or seen him lately. Or her. I guess it could be a her, right? I don't know, I don't know that much about birds. All right, let's go to the store. Tonight for dinner, I'm going to make what we call hamburger gravy. Hamburger gravy is basically you take hamburger, bump, you take hamburger and you brown it, cook it, and then you add gravy, <laughs> like brown gravy to it. And whoa, then you serve it over rice. And I usually have like a little extra gravy and I don't make homemade gravy, although I could, but I don't normally. I just buy either a packet of gravy or a jar of gravy or something. And then you serve it over rice and voila. It's not voila, it's voila, right? That's how you say it, voila. You have dinner, so. I tend to not run when it's raining outside because there's probably, there's like a bigger chance that I'm gonna fall, like slip and fall, versus get really wet. I mean, I'm gonna get wet either way. I don't know how much drier I'd stay. Maybe I need to contact Myth Mythbusters and ask them, like if you're running in the rain, how much less wet you would get. But the likelihood that I would probably slip and fall is greater. So, <laughs> that guy was watching me. Technically, it's tomorrow. And I'm listening to Rachel Hollis, her live stream from Friday. And I'm about to go to bed. And we went to, let me pause it. But I'm going to Miami. I'm going to Miami. So today, Gavin, Carrie, Bradley, and Kennedy came over. And it was really cool hanging out. We, we hung out. We watched a movie on the TV, and we had a fire in the the fireplace, and yeah, life was grand. Marvin's already asleep. He's been asleep, I'm sure, for a while. And I'm about to join him, but I had to double check on some Wing Mom stuff, and I'm having a little trouble posting some links. Facebook is just not liking it. I don't know if it's considering it spam, or if it's, I don't know. Not really sure but a couple of our regular posts are not going through. So I'm gonna have to figure that out, but I'll figure that out another day. I've got to make some more progress on cleaning up. I did make some progress, so y'all, it don't feel like it, and it, I mean, well, it feels like it, but it don't look like it, but we're getting there. So, and Socks, hey Socks, hey buddy. He's having fun. He's a very friendly cat. So I hope you guys had an awesome day and tomorrow we got things happening. Wednesday, Anna and Christian come, so that's gonna be exciting. I got another video posted, so things are getting back on track, y'all. What, what? Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing evening. Don't forget to be kind and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.